Governor Fauci promised to offset all the salary arrears owing civil servants and subvention to institutions before the end of his tenure. He promised to pay another month's salary by this weekend. Be assured, I'm part of the activity matching my second year in office. I will pay and reduce the four month salary. I will reduce it by one month. I will pay on the 15th, 16th of this month again. The High Court project, which he said would cost the government about 700 million naira, will be completed within 12 months. It's completed already. Yeah. Look at the edifice there, it's here. By his grace, not a day after one year. It may interest you, by my CJ, that contractors to this project has collected and received the 50% payments. And by projection, this project is to be ready 10 months. But I will, I will give you one year because I want to do finishings, finish off finishing of international standards. Governor Fauci berated the action of the Department of Security Service, DSS, over the arrest of some serving justices and judges and advised them to obey the rule of law. Corroborating the governor, the founder of the Afe Babalola University, Abad, Ari Afe Babalola, said that the DSS operatives took over the duty of the Nigerian Judicial Commission, which is said had jeopardized the independence of the judiciary. Nigeria operates a democratic system of government, which anywhere in the world places emphasis on separation of powers between the three arms of government, as said by the as only there are recently, which arms are independent of each other. Of these, the judiciary enjoys primacy of importance when it comes to the use of autonomy and independence as a judiciary, which is not free from political interference to bring about the demands of nation, perhaps faster than corruption itself, or in other vices. World over, one of the widely accepted means of guaranteeing such independence of judiciary lies in the assignment of a judicial council. The chief judge of Ekata State, Justice Ayodeji Daramola, and the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Mr. Owoshe Niajai, thanked the governor for his decision to replace the 48-year-old building inherited from the old western region. They said that the new